right. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. My name is Audrey. Welcome to my 100 day project. Today is day 76 and I'll be painting some broccoli with gouache. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for coming. Let me just adjust my laptop there a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today was kind of like very gloomy here in Chicago. So, you know, just feeling kind of like met today. Um, but I try not to let the weather like affect me so much. Like, I don't think I have seasonal affective disorder, but you know, but I know that the weather can obviously influence your emotions, but, or your mood. Um, but, and so I try not to let it like really dampen my mood, but yeah, especially because today I launched my shop. So I was like, I don't want to be sad, you know? Um, so it was kind of like a mixed mixed bag of feelings anyway uh, really glad you're here um i just want to kind of get right into it i already sketched out my little broccoli yeah <laughs> and i realized okay so fun fact i don't know if you guys knew this but um broccoli the heads you know the little like brown or not brown i'm sorry I don't know why I said brown. The little the little buds that you see at the top, they're actually flower buds. So if you didn't know that um, your basic your broccoli head, like the parts that we're eating, um, it's the stem and then you're eating the flower buds. Um, and then so sometimes if it if the weather's too hot, the broccoli might um, like bolt or flower um, because it's too warm. So um, yeah, so you want to make sure that the temperatures are like below 75 degrees Fahrenheit and like very cool for the broccoli. But anyway, so I think I'm also going to paint like little yellow flowers because that would be super cute, you know, um, and that might help make the painting seem less like blah and one dimensional because it's all just going to be green <laughs> so i'm hoping that the yellow flowers will kind of add some fun to it uh, which reminds me i have to look up what the flowers even look like <laughs> so i learned that today and i was like oh can you even eat the flowers i was just kind of curious so yeah sorry let me just look up really quick broccoli flower so i can paint it somewhat accurately somewhat <laughs> okay so it looks like it's just a four petal flower okay easy enough easy enough that that's really all i really look for honestly when i look for flowers especially when i know it's going to be very simple i'm just like how many petals does it have you know so i just want to make sure that i at least get the right number of petals even though it may not look exactly like it yeah hi linda hello hi okay yeah so let's get into it with our breathing exercise again just get into a comfortable position and as you're breathing just feel the breath just going up to the top of your head down to the tip of your toes out to your fingers just filling your entire body with the oxygen and to really help your body just relax okay so get into a comfortable position and then let your shoulders just kind of like fall naturally and take it slow. There's no rush here tonight, okay? So let's do that. Let me bring us back together. <sighs> yeah. The breathing always helps me just kind of like relax. 
and just feel like a sense of like calm. And again, like even though outside it might be raining and it's gloomy and it's blah, you know, and then it might affect how I'm feeling inside. Just when I do that breathing, it helps kind of like reset, you know, and just like remind myself like I don't have to let it affect me, you know, I can I can choose to still be happy, I can still choose to be um, optimistic, um, etc. So all right. Well, let me go ahead and get my camera set up here. You guys, look at this. I, so this is my second notebook or sketchbook. I only have like, I don't know, seven pages left. I mean, these are also double-sided, so I technically have like 14 pages left or so. I don't know, exactly. like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six, so I have 12 pages left. Oh, wow, I am almost done with this sketchbook. And I knew that I was gonna need to dig into the third sketchbook. So I do have three um, for this, but yeah, look, I already sketched all those pages. I can't wait to do another flip through of just this sketchbook because this is literally all just fruits and vegetables. Like, ah! okay, that was a really quick flip through. <laughs> but, yeah, really excited. Okay, let's look at the colors I'm gonna be working with today. So I'm working with Holbein gouache. Love, love Holbein. Um, I have a couple different colors here. So I felt like maybe I can wash this down for like the stalk, the stems of the broccoli. And I mean, or I could just use up whatever I have in here. So I might just do that instead. And then for the broccoli heads, I wanted to do at least, <clears throat> at least two greens and i feel like this one yeah this one might be a little bit too cool like like too blue um in, in order to paint the broccoli heads but we'll see um yeah i might just use like a darker value of this and then paint with this on top so we shall see let me try to do a little bit of that oops that was kind of a lot I wasn't looking <laughs> and then a little bit more of this on this side i really feel like i'm gonna run out of green and white before i run out of any other colors just because i use green so much in all of my paintings i do i do okay well i'm so glad you're here let me know what you're working on in your um, creative journey um, i hope you enjoy this live stream thanks again and if you have any questions of what i'm working on you know please feel free to ask in the chat i will definitely check in with it after i'm done with my painting and then you are more than welcome to you know chat with each other and ask each other questions too so yeah oh hi sherry glad you were able to hop on so glad you're here okay yeah so have a good time again i have a new ish playlist i played it for a few days now but i hope you enjoy and i'll see you in a little bit bye
everyone just wanted to check in because i'm about done with my painting and i'm really like as as this was coming together i was just thinking wow this really reminds me of like my watercolor days you know um because i would normally paint like this with my watercolor like really being intentional about leaving white space um like just letting the colors bleed into each other and like layering i haven't really experimented a lot with layering in gouache and so i did layer on the broccoli stems you know the left side of each broccoli to add a shadow um yeah so i just felt like oh okay i'm like bringing in again what i know about watercolor into gouache and i know that gouache is a type of watercolor yes yes but i've been trying to use gouache in a very you know like in the like in the way that graphic artists use it where they just have like a flat color you know not too much dimension but yeah when it came to the broccoli i was like you know what like i just kind of like not regressed in a negative connotation but um just kind of like defaulted you know because that's just like part of me now that's just how i paint now <laughs> um hi sherry um thank you i'm so happy you checked out my shop thank you so much for doing that um i yeah i hope you found something that you like um linda thank you your broccoli looks delicious i know right now i kind of want to eat some broccoli <laughs> Oh wow, I never knew that it could look so delicious. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I um uh, but back to the layering. So I tried to also layer, I, I realized I tried to also layer a brighter green on the right side of each broccoli to again indicate like where the like where the sun is hitting the broccoli. So I don't know, like it's like I you know, I, I know I've said this a few times, but I feel like I'm I am getting more and more comfortable with gouache. So this page definitely proves that. Like I'm at a point where I can kind of mesh what I know about watercolor and then now I mesh it with what I know about gouache and just kind of bring the two together. And I'm really glad that I added the flowers because again, without those flowers, like it just looks like, it just looks so like, I don't know, I feel like it would look a lot duller even though I did try to add the shadow and the highlights. So that definitely helps, but I just feel like something still would have been a little off. So anyway, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I just think they look so cute. It is definitely different. So if I were to flip, flip to like the previous page, like look at how like flat and matte and like straightforward like these paintings are right and even like these like there isn't much shadow um like it's just yeah flat and matte colors well this one's a little different because i added the color pencils but yeah so then compare these to this page this to this page right so you can definitely see like there's a lot more like depth and um yeah and so i don't know like i'm trying to figure out like do i really like this flat look or do i really like this one i know i default to something like this maybe i'm forcing myself to like this i don't know i have to like spend some time like really thinking about that you know because i feel like that's how you kind of figure out what your style is right like trying out a style and practicing it over and over again in order to figure out like do you really like it and i mean obviously after all of these days and weeks and months like i think you could probably like surmise that yes i do like this flat look but at the same time like this definitely appeals to me too you know so it's ah it's so hard <laughs> i think if i can find a way that i can paint like this but but like do it consistently across the board with you know like all kinds of subjects like that would be my jam but you know but as an artist you're also ever evolving so i'm also okay with like you know doing something like this every once in a while but then you know then you do a page like this where you have 
color pencil mixed in, you know? So I think I'm trying to open myself up to different possibilities, different, um, different styles, different media, that's for sure. And yeah, and like just be okay with it, you know? So yeah, all that to say, I really like this page, that is for sure. Um, but it's just interesting how I sort of, yeah, brought back, brought me back to my watercolor days. Like as soon as I started play, uh, painting the florets, um, like it, like my brush just took me there. Like, like, you know, you saw my brush just going around and around and around. And that's kind of how I paint with watercolors. I paint very like gesturally. Um, I don't always color in with watercolor. Sometimes I do, but I try to paint gesturally when I paint loosely. And so it just kind of lent itself. It just brought me there. It was like automatic, like subconsciously it just happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, Linda. Um, you, you will tomorrow. Oh, look at my shop. Yeah, that's okay. No worries. No worries. Um, Juniper is still seriously such a cute name, such a cute name for a cat. Um, yeah, it is a learning process. Thank you, Linda. Yes, thank you. Definitely. Yeah. And I think like, you know, I'm still very, um, like young in the sense, like, I don't feel young because I know I'm not young <laughs> like age wise, but I feel like I'm still young in like figuring out like what I like as an artist, who I am as an artist, you know, like I know I have my preferences, right. But what is something that just really makes me smile, like really makes me happy that, that I can also, um, like, you know, accomplish like on paper, you know? So not that I'm still trying to figure it out. Cause, cause I, again, I know what I like and I know what I don't like and I know what I can do and can't do, but I feel like there's still something that, I don't know, there's still something out there. <laughs> I mean, right now I'm definitely in the fruit and vegetable phase and I still love it. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, next year I have some goals to like really learn landscapes, um, with gouache and, um, and like explore like other subjects. And I know I previewed, um, or I put in a video earlier this year about how I started learning how to draw faces. So that's still kind of like in the back of my mind. And I want to learn how to do that too. Um, I eventually want to be able to, yeah, like draw people and, um, like confidently, you know, and I know that that's going to, that's going to take practice. So I'm not rushing myself, but right now, yeah, I'm very satisfied with gouache. Ugh, love it. And just painting, yeah, fruits and vegetables, just in a really cute way, like in these cute patterns. Like I, ugh, I'm so proud of this sketchbook. If I ever lost this, oh, I would be so devastated. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy. Very happy. Um, hi Keith, where is the link to my shop? Oh, I'm so sorry. It is in my other recent video, but you know what? I can add it for you in the chat right now. So let me go there right now. Okay, so there it is. Um, yeah, if you're at this point in the video of the live stream or in the replay, please give this video a like. I just want to thank you for being here. Um, and if you have like any questions again, please pop them in the chat. I'll be live just for a little bit longer, but, um, in case you missed the painting and are just joining now, here it is. Ta -da! <laughs> so we're going to take a moment to just kind of close out our time and then we can chat a little bit more if you want. So uh, what I'd like to do is I wash out my brushes and inhale and then I exhale as I blot my brushes. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So inhale and exhale. And then that's just a signal to me that, you know, my creative time is over. Um, because if I don't stop, I will just keep on going, keep on going. And then four hours later, <laughs> and then let's take a moment just to appreciate what we've done. Say some affirmations to yourself to so do that. And then I'll, um, yeah, we'll keep chatting.
All right. <clears throat> well, thank you again. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys. Like at this point, there's what, 24 days left or 23 days now of my 100 day project. And I was thinking about how to kind of like close out the project. You know, remember I asked you for your ideas or suggestions on how to kind of celebrate, you know, the end of the project. And so one of the ideas that I had was, um, I don't know if I would do this for every single day because not all, every day was my favorite page, but if I had like a big painting or like a big print of like thumbnails of like some of my favorite ones, especially the fruit and vegetables, I feel like I could just do a thumbnail of all of my fruit and vegetables, you know? Um, so I thought about something like that as a, um, as like a giveaway or, you know, I would definitely add it to my shop. Um, or just, yeah, just something like that. Um, I also thought about um, just like doing like a, like an ask me anything kind of chat or video live stream like this, where we just kind of like, you know, we can grab our favorite dessert and a drink and then we can just, you know, chat here live and then just kind of look back on the 100 day project and if you were doing the 100 day project with me or if you were doing your own you know we could kind of share ideas or share our learned lessons or lessons learned i don't know why i said it like that um yeah so that was another idea that i had um yeah the other idea that i had was just more like of a personal thing for me where i just you know um like go out to a nice dinner um yeah drink champagne whatever <laughs> just celebrate in the more like traditional way um but i also wanted to have some have that time to celebrate with you because again so many of you have been on this on on these live streams with me and so many of you have been showing up like every single day and i am so thankful i'm so proud of you for you know being disciplined and for um and for really committing i think that's really really hard these days you know committing to something um for a long period of time i think like all of us have like a little bit of um like a little bit of like um like what do you call it like short-term memory or loss or something like where like you know you do something for a little bit and then you forget about it and then you do something else and you forget about it and then you do something else and then you come back to the first one and then you know you just kind of like end up bouncing around and around and it's really hard to find someone who has a like a deep dedication or a commitment and i'm not saying that you know trying different things is a bad thing i'm please don't misunderstand me i'm just trying to say that like when you do find something like go deep, you know, go all in. Um, don't just like, you know, dip your toes in there. And no matter how long you were doing it for a month, a year, five years, like whatever it is, but go deep, you know, like otherwise, at least for me, I feel like I would regret it if I didn't give it my all, you know? So even if it's a hobby, like go down that rabbit hole. I totally tell people like, you know, like whether it's knitting or crafting or scrapbooking, like go down that rabbit hole, like do your best, make the, make the coolest things that you can, you know, because you might not be able to do that forever, but I think it's important to, um, yeah, like do it to like, like do it to the fullest extent that you can. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So anyway, I'm just kind of blabbing now. Anyway, um, yeah. Hi, everyone. So that's basically all I had to say today. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, like Keith said, my shop is open, so please check it out. It's just shop.audreyradesign.com dot com and you'll find all almost all of my fruit and vegetable paintings that i've done i i didn't include the ones that i didn't like so <laughs> so you can see which ones i didn't really that i'm not really fond of um because they don't show up in my shop so you can you can figure those out but for the most part almost all of them are there and i even turn them like into little stickers into greeting cards with fun puns so please check it out um, tomorrow, uh, oh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were typing. 
Hi, Rita. Yes, going deep. Yes, that's good. Thank you for, yeah, just thank you for agreeing. I think like even with watercolor and the shop, like I think my, you know, I probably shared with you guys and if you watch my most recently published videos, you'll see that um, I, this is actually my third time launching my shop, you know? And I feel like the first two times, the very first time was definitely just an experiment. I was like, ooh, let's test the waters. Let's just see what happens, you know? The second time, um, I blamed it on my website design and the, and the way that I put it together. So whatever. <laughs> Either way, like I felt like both times I was kind of like half in, half out. Do you know what I mean? And um, I didn't really dive all the way in as I could have. Like, I know that. I know that. I can freely admit that. And so this time around, I am all in. I love every single thing that I've produced. I don't feel like it's necessarily like I'm doing it for anyone else. I'm doing it first for me. And I think that's the, mo the most important thing that I didn't realize the first two times. So, yeah. Um, Sherry, thank you. I'm so glad I could be involved in your project. Got me started on a sketchbook. Yay! A goal this year. That is huge. Okay, virtual high five. Seriously, like that is huge. I think when you open a new sketchbook, yeah, it is scary. You're like, I don't want to mess it up, you know? And you just like stare at that blank page and you just keep staring. And so I'm very happy, very proud that you, yeah, started a sketchbook and accomplished a goal this year. That is really awesome. Can, can we give Sherry just a round of applause? Yay! <laughs> um, keep, um, oh, ah, what is my birthday? Ah. <laughs> yes, in my stories, I did share. My husband got me, uh, well, this is the old Apple Watch, but he got me a new one, um, which is like bigger. It's the newer one. Um, and he got it for my birthday. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you when my birthday is because <laughs> I don't want you guys to feel pressure to get me anything. Please don't get me anything. Um, all right, whatever. You will find out eventually. My birthday is October 1st. October 1st and that's a Sunday this year um it's very easy to remember 10 1 101 I always used to remember it this is a weird weird fact but I used to remember it because I was really obsessed with the movie 101 Dalmatians and I really wanted a Dalmatian when I was young Ugh, crazy but um and so that's how I, I remember it like I, I love that movie and then it you know looks like my looks like my birthday 10 1 so anyway um all right yeah um yeah i told you my birthday anyway <laughs> um but yeah the funny story behind this the the new apple watch is you know he, he really didn't have to get it for me but he's really thoughtful and so what happened was um very early on in our dating um uh dating life i i think you know he dropped me off but I left my phone in his car and then he started driving home, right? And he lives like 30, 40 minutes away, right? And, and I started flipping out. I was like, oh no, like my phone. But you know, because I have all Apple products, I knew that I could try to call him on my laptop. I could try to call him. Um, well, I, I didn't have this watch back then. Um, but I could try to call him through my laptop, right? Or my iPad or something. And so I turn on my laptop and I try to call him. I try to FaceTime him, even though he has an Android. Um, but I try to call him, but it wasn't working. Like it just wouldn't go through. And so I started flipping out and freaking out. And, and some of you might be thinking like, why are you freaking out? Like, it's okay. You just left your phone in his car. So the backstory to that is, and it's going to get a little personal, but what happened was, so in my previous relationship, marriage, so I was actually married before I'm, I was divorced and this is my second husband. But anyway, so in my first marriage, there was, there were many incidents where I was not allowed to ever like mess up, you know, like I couldn't leave things behind. I couldn't lose things because then, because then we had to buy a new one and then that's money down the drain. And then it's my fault. Like everything was my fault, you know? And so I started flipping out because it was like a trigger for me and feeling like, like, oh my God, he's going to get mad at me. Even though my husband, you know, then boyfriend was, is, is never like that. that. That was not his first thought at all, you know? So I was calling him to like apologize that my phone was in his car. 
Like, why would I do that? You know, but that was my trauma speaking, right? And so I'm, I'm like, I'm like getting super anxious. And then, so I called my, um, so I called Julie, Chef Julie Yoon. I called her because she had my husband's number. So she called him to be like, Hey, Audrey left your phone in your car. You know, like, can you just hold on to it? Um, but instead of holding on to it, he actually turned around, even though he was like five minutes away from home, <laughs> right? He turned around, came all the way back to my house and then dropped off my phone. And like, he was not annoyed at all he was actually worried you know that like i was flipping out you know and so anyway so the whole so that so the whole story is to let you know that my husband got me a new watch that has cell service that um and then so like if that incident ever happened again where i can't reach him you know or i can't reach him then i could call him with my watch and so <laughs> i couldn't um like it like it was, um, it was very thoughtful because he remembered that moment. And even though it was very hard for me, it was very traumatic for me, for him, like he just cares so much, you know, he's just so thoughtful and so caring and so loving. And so, um, yeah, anyway, so that's what happened. Um, oh, <laughs> I know you guys like got a really personal story out of me today. Um, Oh, no, 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 Keith. Oh, no, please don't feel bad. No, 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 please don't feel bad. Like, I talk about, like, I don't really like to talk about my personal life so publicly, like, in a video like this, you know? Um, but at the same time, like, I don't feel any shame about, like, what happened to me. Um, you know, like, I went through a lot of therapy. I went through a lot of healing. And so I'm in a much better place now, you know, and I love my husband. Like, he's the best person in the, in the, in the, in the entire world. But I had to go through some hard things to get there you know and i think a lot of you might agree you know some of the best things in life is going to sound super cliche but some of the best things in life like come to us because we've gone through really difficult things and now we can appreciate them you know so maybe to someone else it's just like mediocre you know who cares but to you it's like the most treasured thing you know or the most treasured person and so for me that's my husband yeah and so I had to kind of go through some really hard stuff to really appreciate, um, um, you know, someone like him, but then also allow myself to also be appreciated and loved and, um, and valued. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, was that the moment when you knew he was a keeper when he brought back your phone? I mean, yeah, that was like maybe the third maybe the third or fourth date or so. Again, it was very early on in our dating. Um, I think I honestly knew that he was a keeper before that. So very early on, I knew. And I only say that because I'm older. And so when you're older, you just kind of know, you know, you either know or you don't. I know people say that, but it's really true. When you're older, you're not dating just to have fun anymore. You're dating because you're trying to figure out, are you the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with? You know, so there's no like riffraff. There's no um you know like yeah there's no superficiality like you just like get in there and then if it doesn't work out then you get out as quick as you can and then you know like try again i guess sorry that sounded very trivial i i, I don't mean to say like dating is so frivolous like that but um just saying when you're older and you're trying to date um yeah it's it, it happens a lot faster than you think yeah um yeah definitely a keeper i agree too i can't believe i told you guys all that stuff i mean again i'm totally happy to please don't feel bad that you asked or you you didn't you didn't even ask really i just volunteered that story but that's because like again my husband's the best um i really appreciate him and even like opening the shop okay so i'll kind of like bring it home now so like even opening the shop and like being able to continue my business like i never not never but i didn't think that I could still be doing this, um, like, you know, like with another man, you know, cause again, like because of what I'd gone through, I thought that I would have to give all this up and like whatever, but he has been my biggest supporter. He has been like, he's actually watching this live stream right now. <laughs> um, like he's watched every single day. He doesn't, you know, pipe 
pipe in in the chat at all but he has been and he is my biggest supporter my biggest cheerleader um like if i need to make any purchases you know unless it's like a huge purchase he's like yeah babe it's for your business like go do it you know um and yeah so <laughs> yes he cooks for you oh my gosh well, seriously, I hate cooking. I really don't like cooking. And so, yeah, even just cooking for me. Oh, man. Yeah. Check. Check plus. Check plus. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you listening to all my crazy stories. Um, I do like sharing bits of myself. I just never know, like, you know, what you guys really want to know, you know, but, um, but I do want to share bits of my life as long as it's relevant to like what's going on here and what my business is about, you know? Um, so again, thank you so much. You guys are great. I know this is a long live stream, but I appreciate you sticking around again. Please like this video, comment below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't remember what I'm painting tomorrow. Let's see. Tomorrow I'm painting mango steams. Okay, I've never had mango steams before, but I guess that's what I'm painting tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you. Good night. Bye.